550 miles westward into the Pacific Ocean from the Ecuadorian coast of South America and straddling the equator sit the Galapagos Islands. There are ten large islands, three being inhabited, with some backpackers hotels, and around 100 smaller islands, many being no more than lumps of rock projecting from the sea. All are volcanic in origin, and in many places the bare black lava is evident. The lava was inhabited by locusts and lava lizards. Some older islands had become fertile and very green. We cruised on celebrity expedition, flying the Ecuadorian flag, and all landings were by Zodiac. Beaches were substantially deserted, except for the local wildlife, iguanas, both land varieties, and marine were common. Sally Lightfoot crabs inhabited the water's edge, but in reality the beaches belonged to the sea lions, with a single large male owning up to 50 ladies. Darwin's Finch and the Galapagos Mockingbird seem totally unconcerned by the presence of humans. The boobies dive en masse to feed on the shoulder of fish. In a lagoon we see the turtles. We can see some chick. And then a flock of penguins. Okay, maybe you see the difference. Watch it. Uh, this guy coming is a juvenile. Yeah. Um, many of them are juvenile, but you may see some of them in space with a white line. And then on a rocky outcrop, a flightless cormorant. <laughs> A number of blue-footed boobies, the cormorant again, and a marine iguana, the boobies. And a mass of them still diving for their food. Then out at sea, a pod of four killer whales are spotted and chased. Back on the rocks, the marine iguanas 
and the flightless cormorant are in evidence. Come on, do it now. If you look closely, you can see that the marine iguana is eating the algae off the rocks. The sea lions had to be chased off the landing stage before we could disembark. A giant manta ray swam near one of the zodiacs. Sleeping is a favourite pastime for the sea lions. You're a bigger poser than Alex. The wind is right in the water now, look. Note how the flamingo paddles the mud to disturb 
fits food. A preen. A friendly cuddle for two iguanas. Had he stopped because he sensed us? Had he stopped us on filming? <laughs> he wants to get you get his good side. Both the blue footed boobies and the frigate birds use the area right, for nesting. <laughs> yeah, facing the wrong way. Cool. The male frigate birds inflate part of their throat as a courting gesture. Understand and show us its tutties. Yeah. yeah. It's like that yeah, you being caught. Maybe if you A young booby encourages its mother to feed it. This youngster is believed to be only two to three days old. Something for breakfast. You have to build that himself, make an 
Something's coming up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. At the Darwin Centre, giant tortoises are being bred. Male and females together, but all of them were sterilized. And these tortoises now are in Pinta, where it's lined up. Yeah. What about their fresh water? Over there. We passed the fish market on our way back to the boat from the Darwin Centre. Thank you. 
pelicans expect a free meal. A woodpecker finch. Our guide had not previously seen one of these. A red algae grew on the water's surface, apparently not harmful to wildlife. Once it's laid its eggs, would the mother go back to the nest? No, the, the nature is incubated. Yeah, oh, they, they do nothing. nothing. They just walk away. Reptiles now. And also, they go to see in the wild time to time. And they produce an egg. But it's so hard. <coughs> Iron wood or matasarn. <coughs> <coughs>